Hello and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the different archive files in SolidWorks Electrical. Things like the TEW zip, part.tew zip, and proj.tew zip, and a number of other file types. So here I have a few available to me. I have a part TEW zip, a regular TEW zip, and a proj TEW zip. And each one would be either created or unarchived in a specific area. Let's take a look at the first one here, the TEW zip, which relates to an environment zip file. I would unarchive that or archive one in the unarchive environment button. I'll just navigate to my environment file, this TEW zip here, and I would unarchive it normally. Another example would be the proj TEW zip. That would be done in the project manager. So here I can unarchive the proj TEW zip. Most of the TEW zip files have some type of clear name that would indicate where you would go to unarchive or archive that environment or that TEW zip file. If I go to the library tab, I have lots of different library managers. Let's take a look at the manufacturer parts manager. Here I have archiving and unarchiving functions as well. If I unarchive, in this case, the part TEW zip, this would be the appropriate place for my parts to be unarchived into. If I wanted to create an archive of a set of parts, I would just have to go to select the particular parts that I want, and then using the archive function, I can then grab those into a part TEW zip file and send them to another colleague or a customer that requires those uh, to work on a project. Here you can see it's creating a part TEW zip file. And then depending on another manager that I might work in, let's say the symbols manager, and I do the same thing. I go and select a number of symbols that I want to archive. And here I'm creating a symbol TEW zip. So be sure to look at the name of the TEW zip to give you a clue as to where to archive or unarchive those files. If you have any further questions, please contact us at the information below.